you just finished a one month shoot in Jordan. How did it go in a few sentences? It was wonderful, as I expected to, because Jordan is such a film friendly and filmogenic country. I was very honored and happy to work here, and I definitely hope it's not the last time. You were keen on shooting in Jordan because of the desert that looks similar to the Sinai where the story is set. Is that mainly the reason, the location that attracted you to Jordan, or mm. are there any other elements? Mm, yes, and um, it started actually this way that I was here as a tourist in 2013. I visited Petra and I had already been researching Guadi Rum. So, uh, I mean, I wanted to visit it as a tourist, but at the time I only had four days, so I only was in Petra and Aqaba. But um, when I saw actually the Jordanian film Thebe, then I knew that, wow, okay, this is exactly what I'm looking for because they really were using the locations that I was looking for myself. I mean, first of, first of course, we wanted to try to shoot in uh, Sinai, Egypt, because I have friends there and I had been there like five months. And the story is set in yeah, Sinai. Yeah, exactly, so exactly. Happen. But yeah. uh, logistically and also security-wise, it's uh, much more problematic and uh, not even problematic, but uh, can be even impossible because it's impossible mm -hmm. to get permits and, and uh, also it's becoming increasingly dangerous. I mean, what my film talks about in a way. So uh, then uh, I had developed some connections in Jordan and then it was an easy decision. I was very happy because it's uh, geographically very similar to what Sinai looks like, uh, yet it also has its own peculiar character. And on one point, of course, we tried to, to, to match the locations or I had a very clear vision of the locations and, and the people who helped us, location managers, that we had all the photos what I had made in Sinai as a reference. But during the shooting, I actually felt that the desert like got over us, like in that sense that um, I, I only wanted the character of the desert. That mm -hmm. It doesn't matter so much whether mm -hmm. it's Sinai or it's Wadi Rum mm -hmm. or, or somewhere else. It was just so poetic and uh, mm -hmm beautiful in itself. It's, a, it's really a character of its own. And and your experience with the uh, local Jordanian crew, with the, I don't know, the infrastructure, was it to, up to the standard you were expecting? It, it was, was it absolutely, it was absolutely. I mean, um, there are different experiences with the, with the actors, let's say that some were absolutely extraordinary, with some maybe I was a little bit disappointed in, you know, because they were too theatrical or, but that, I mean, it's more the issue of, of casting, but I think that the main um, actors and, and the locations and the crew, the technical crew was fantastic. The sound crew, the, the, the locations, uh, the, the costumes, and also very helpful, very friendly people. So I have only the best, uh, really, and and especially the, the how fast they were, how quickly we could assemble to go from one place to another, and and uh, I felt very secure and, and looked after, and and yeah, I mean it, it was we were very lucky also with the weather, and and so it all went very smooth. And shooting, uh, while taking into consideration all the regulations and the constraints because of COVID. Was it something that delayed or uh, was a problem for the production? We had very clear instructions from the Jordanian government and uh, the local production office what should be done and we followed them and then it was feasible. I would say it was quite feasible it, and, and uh, unfortunately we had some cases we were lucky that they were not like key people in that sense because if it had happened to the main cast or to me or to the DOP, I mean, it must have caused more problems. Mm -hmm. And then I, I don't even want to imagine, I mean, because it's, as you know, very difficult to, to postpone, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, the, the shooting. But um, fortunately, it didn't happen and we got tested regularly, like, you know, every five days or so. And, and like the last two times everybody absolutely everybody was negative and uh, yeah i think it's and, and and i mean there is always the advantages of, of 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 also like every difficult situation might have advantages and the advantage for us was that uh there was absolutely nobody 
Absence their own. Of tourists, yeah, mean, absence maybe. of tourists, and and so that enabled Australia to to stay in the location where we wanted to. Otherwise, maybe you know there would have not been enough places, mm. or it would have been too expensive to to uh, book the whole place, and then half of the crew is somewhere else, which is very uncomfortable logistically. Mm. Uh, but this really worked. How did you choose Ali Sleiman, who obviously is a big star in the Arab world? Um, I was happy. You met him? Yeah, I was happy to meet him and become friends with him eight years ago. Actually, the time when the film was born, and I already told him then that I have this film and I want you to play the male lead. And then he was like, yeah, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then like eight years later, it, it happened. But we were actually introduced by a common friend, Armenian uh, film director, and he made a short film in Armenia. And so I was playing the female lead and Ali was playing the male lead. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you, Kadri. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. Shukran.